Hey, what's going on everybody? Steven here. Today I wanted to do a video showing you how to control your Mac with a Wii Remote. Um, now with this video, with this version of this video, you cannot uh, point and control your mouse cursor. That will be on a different version of this video. I will be showing you how, on, on the other video I'm going to do, I'll show you how to like point and click, but for this video, you will only be able to use your arrows and your A and B button. So, the things you're going to need is obviously a Wii Remote, a Bluetooth enabled Mac, which most of them are now, uh, and you're going to need an application called Remote Buddy. Now, let me show you what the icon looks like. Icon looks just like that. Now, you can also control um, your Mac with your iPod Touch with this application, but I do not have an iPod Touch yet, so I'm going to be showing you with the Wii Remote. So, go ahead and double click Remote Buddy. Um, I'm going to click try because I only want the trial. And then, um, so on your Wii Remote, it says press 1 and 2 simultaneously. So press the 1 and 2 buttons at the same time, just like that. And then, on your screen it says Nintendo, blah blah blah, connected. So you are now connected, and that is pretty much the main thing you have to do for this. So go ahead and press B, this back button here, and this thingy will pop up. So, if I go back here, is a list of all my applications. I do I do not have many, but um, here's a list of all of them, and you can control all of them with your remote. There's an option to quit remote, buddy, shut down your computer, put your computer to sleep, um, to do things on your system. I don't know. Uh, yeah, to reboot it and stuff. There is input devices, which I will get to in a little bit. There's also files, so you can open up files on your Mac. There's volume. And here's my other hand, I'm just using this with the arrows. And then here's all my applications. So first I'll show you a demo with an application. So I'm going to hit A for Safari. And I'm going to click Activate Behavior, which is um, right here. And right here it shows you all the buttons that you can use with Safari. So I'm going to go ahead and click A for, to Activate Behavior. And it just opened up Safari for me. So I'm going to go ahead and click B one more time. I'm going to go back. And then right here where it says input devices, I'm going to click virtual mouse. So I'm going to activate that behavior. And as you see now, my mouse is moving around and I'm just using the arrow keys. Here's my other hand so you know I'm not using mouse. And I'm going to go to a different website. I'm going to click here. And then I'm going to go back, open up the virtual keyboard. And then I'm going to go ahead and delete the Swagbucks URL. And then I'm going to go ahead and type in YouTube. Alright. And then I'm going to hit the enter button on my virtual keyboard. Again, I'm just using only my Wii Remote. And then here is um, my YouTube homepage. And then I'm going to open up my virtual mouse. And this little flashlight that's on my, around my cursor, I am not doing. The application Remote Buddy is doing it for me. So I can see the everything too. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my channel by hitting A. And then I'm going to scroll down using little arrow things. And then I'm going to go ahead and play one of my videos. So I'll just play my Snow Leopard unboxing. I can, I can enter full screen. I can do whatever we want. But um, so yeah, that, that 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 was pretty cool. I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna quit Safari. I'm hit B again, and then I'll show you what else that this application has. It has a virtual remote, so it's a virtual Apple remote. Um. Let me show you. I'll try to show you another application. I'll show you what's the application? Photo booth. I'll show you photo booth. Alright. Okay, so here I am. Uh, I'm going to hit A on my thingy and it'll take the picture for me. So, as you can see, the little timer came up right there. And there I am. And then IDK. I just said IDK. I don't know how to. Um, 
view the photos, but I just took a picture. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go back. I'm open up my virtual mouse. And then here I can just view all my photos. What photo was that? Oh, that was from last night when I was trying this out. But yeah. So pretty much that is the whole application. It is called Remote Buddy. You can also use uh, your iPod Touch to control this or to con control your Mac. Um, go ahead and download this. You do need to pay for the application, but there's a free 30-day trial. And just get the serial number off Google or whatever. It's a very good application. So go ahead and try it. I just opened up Final Cut Pro. Wow. Um, okay, so also there will be another video of how to actually control your Mac with your remote, but by pointing to move your cursor, so it'll go like that. Uh, that will be up next, I'm going to record that, so make sure to check that out, their annotation is right here. Um, catch you in my next videos, peace.